Hello my YouTube friends, Dave Wilson here. Well, I've really been busy and pulling my hair out a lot, but I uh, had a lot of projects going on at one time to get to this. I've got my enclosure, I won't say it's done, but it's getting there. I'm actually running my first print on it. Uh, I still have to seal it up a lot, uh, but uh, I'm glad I made it bigger than I needed, or at least I thought I needed, because it is really hard to work inside. Um, I had to, the Y stop wasn't functioning correctly, and trying to get to it was just a bear. It's so much easier when you don't have any walls around it. But um, what I did is I built a box out of some old plywood I had using two by twos, and built, uh, uh, printed some corner braces, uh, used some foam insulation, and then covered the whole thing with some foil, um, bubble wrap, um, uh, I forget the name of it, I'll try Reflectix, but, um, and then made a mount for the temperature sensor and a new display mount. And right now I've got something working for the filament feed, but uh, I'm not sure that's a final uh, design either, but just want to get some way to get the filament inside. And it's getting there, <laughs> but um, had all kinds of problems. My Easy Able, the connector broke on it, so I had to order parts for that. In the meantime, I was working on getting all this put together. And then finished the wiring so that the temperature sensor is running off of the uh, printer power supply. And all the lights are running off the power supply. And then I um, had a lot of trouble with cables. So what I've been doing is I tried to make some silicone socks for the um, Omnidrop. I tried using some maxi watt heaters. And they just, if they don't have some kind of a heat, uh, sock around them, they just don't work well. They get too hot and they melt the fans. That's why I was having trouble with the fans. So Max gave me some good ideas and trying to find some designs on Thingiverse. And here's one that you can actually try to mold a sock out of it. Um, and that's what this one came from. I tried five different designs. That's the only one that even came out close. Ones I had the best luck, I think, were I just coated it with some Permatex. And it's sort of rough and crude, but it worked. And i am got some other Permatex, a different kind. It's even a higher heat. Uh, this is up to 600 and some degrees Fahrenheit, um, 300 something Celsius. And the material I got on order, it's up to over 700 Fahrenheit. But I um, had a lot of fun printing parts for the Omnidrops. I'm doing different color designs, and um, I made a new mount. Max gave me this idea. Uh, instead of using these little printed pins to hold the belts, he su suggested using some brass inserts and some uh, uh, bolts. So I'm going to give that a try. But i um, pretty happy, and luckily some of the mods I'd already made helped on this. I already had the external electronics mounts. So all I had to do was remote that in the back. So got some holes to seal up, and but um, it really made it a lot easier because all the electronics are outside and not a real problem to do it with. Um, so I think this this foot at least makes it look a little bit better, if nothing else. But um, it does make it a little solid, and I had to design the hinges for the doors. And I learned one thing with this plexiglass. I used a 0.8 inch thick, um, and it's just too thin. And it's already warped a little bit. And I just did a test on um, the heat, what heat I could get out of this. And it also is very hard to drill. If you're not very careful, it'll crack pretty easily. But um, So the other thing I tried to do with this is I've got little magnets in there. I made it so that the doors, uh, of course they're not even doing it, will come off. So the hinges are not locked in place. So that way if I'm printing something I don't need the heat on, I can just pull the doors right off. Um, and I want to do that to make it a little easier. Well, thanks. 